Okay, let's jump right into the section on IP addresses. What is an IP address? Well, just like you have many different ways of identifying your friends, there are many different ways to identify a computer. While your friends will have a first and last name, a street address, an email address, and a phone number, a computer will have a computer name, a MAC address, and an IP address. The IP address is a lot like your friend's phone number. Now computers prefer to use numbers instead of names. You could have several friends named Bob. That's fine for you because you can differentiate between one Bob and the other. Computers can't. If you have two identical IP addresses on a network, you're going to start getting all kinds of errors stating that you have an IP address conflict. And your network is not going to work properly until the conflict is resolved. Okay, in the world of networking, IP addresses can be split up into two basic categories. Public IP addresses and private IP addresses. Public IP addresses are the type of IP addresses you'll find out on the internet. Private IP addresses are the type of IP addresses you'll use on your home network. Most home network routers ship with a default IP address of something like 192.168.0.1. This is a special type of Class C address that's reserved for private use only. Anyone who purchases one of these routers is more than likely using one of these default IP addresses in their home. Okay, so what happened to the IP address conflict thing I was just talking about? Now we've got millions of people using the same IP address. So doesn't that cause a conflict? Well, no it doesn't. Because actually, the router's default IP address never actually touches the internet. Your router actually has two IP addresses. One on the public side and one on the private side. The IP address on the private side is either set to the default or something you change it to. While the IP address on the public side is something it gets automatically from your internet service provider. Your router's major function in life is to use something called network address translation or NAT to transfer or route traffic back and forth between the internet and your home network. So the main thing you need to take from this is your home network router's private IP address never actually touches the internet. And for that matter, neither do any of the internal IP addresses on your home network because those are private IP addresses which are non-accessible or non-routable to the public internet. Everybody on the internet sees you as a public IP address, in this case 72.201.34.156. The other great thing about private IP addresses is they're free. Whereas companies who want to create an internet presence for themselves had to spend big bucks to purchase a public IP address and domain name. Okay, so where does a computer get its IP address? A computer's IP address is either assigned to it dynamically or manually. A computer that gets its IP address assigned to it dynamically or automatically gets its IP address from something called a DHCP server which we'll talk about a little later. A computer whose IP address has been assigned to it manually or statically has someone like you or me manually go to the TCP IP properties tab in Windows and assign it an IP address. By default, computers are set to receive IP addresses automatically from a DHCP server. So this setting has to be changed manually. 